All right, what's up, boys? We are going to be doing how to dominate on Talia. So we haven't done a commentary on Talia yet. Um, Talia is definitely a new jungler this season. Not many people um, played her before. Um, obviously, she got a huge jungle buff, and now she's viable. So um, she got nerfed a little bit in the most recent times, but she's still super strong, and I'm going to show you how I like to play her. So yeah, um, Talia jungle. What, what I like to do um, for runes, I take Electrocute, Cheap Shot, um, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, and then Absolute Focus on Water Walking. Absolute Focus is just really good as a replacement of Celerity, unless you have a ton of movement speed in your kit, and you're going to be able to get all of that together. So yeah. Now, Talia, just as a champion, I wouldn't recommend her in like super low elo, but um, I'd say like around like gold is when you could start playing her and it could be decent. Gonna just chunk out um, Scion here. Honestly, this guy probably should have recalled immediately instead of trying to take that fight, but I decided to just walk this way and fight him anyway. Definitely want that warded. Okay, so. Gotta be careful this game. They have a lot of stuff they can kill Talia. This is gonna be a very hard game for me, but if I get ahead, I can really just run the game, so. Really like the champion in general. Um, I think she's strong. She just has the weakness of not being like the best champion in solo queue sometimes. Kite away my uh, Q here. Just got chunked again. So here I'm gonna go to Bot Crab already. He's looking for a level two gank mid. It's fine. Camille flashed. I was gonna be there to like potentially help if it was possible, but it was not there. He's gonna go for top crab. I'm gonna go for bot crab. Now Camille actually wins duels against me early. It's one of the things that's kind of scary about Talia. Talia is actually pretty decent at ganking, but in terms of just uh, like 2v2ing and straight up dueling, she's not that good. What you wanna do um, when you do the crab is you wanna say your E in a way where uh, the creeps are gonna walk into it. So here we're gonna try to bait it. Never mind. Looks like he knew. He I, I probably walked over a ward. It was 100%. Gonna take his uh, raids here though. Top got solo killed. That's rough, but we'll take it as well. We've got to, dude. You have no other options in solo queue. Gotta just take whatever it gives you. I don't really care if I get this one. If I get it, it's fine. If I don't, it's fine as well. Um, took a camp away from him. Now I'm gonna be doing my blue here. Don't really have much good setup in lanes. The only lane I can really gank is mid. If you look at um, what we have, uh, maybe at six I can gank top, but that's even kind of hard because uh, Scion has ult then as well. So yeah, both lanes getting solo killed already, but we actually traded mid, so that's fine. Gonna push this away from me here because I don't have uh, my Q up yet. And Gromp autos are ranged, so you take less damage if you do it like that. Probably gonna recall pretty soon here. I'm gonna see if Rise flashed. I don't think he did though, unfortunately. Bot has to be really careful here of um, Camille walking down there after he clears topside. But they just got a double kill. Super good. That's exactly what we need. We need a winning lane to play around. I'm gonna actually end up full killing here, which is pretty rare for Talia, but like I said in this circumstance, I don't have specifically gankable lane, so I wanna um, do whatever I can to get an advantage. So you wanna auto there first, drop your E, and then uh, W the whole camp. It's the best way to clear that camp as Talia. Trust me, I've cleared it many times before and messed it up. This is the way. All right, looking for a gank top. Ooh, he's really low. I'm gonna actually look for him, I think. Actually, no. He's going to back all the way. He has nothing on his top side. Like, if he had his Gromp up there, uh, I could potentially go for it. He actually went for my um, my camp here. All right. I'm going to walk down here. How do we want to do this? All right. So, here I'm just going to go Machete and uh, Dark Seal. Now, Talia Jungle actually can start with Machete if that's your preference. I normally just like Talisman, though. I think Talisman's better. But I've seen some LCK junglers actually start with Machete. It's really just up to whatever you think. Rise is going to be um, cheating towards the side. Camille is going to be here as well. 
I definitely want to fight for this, so I hope my team is willing to back me up if I get into it. Crab control is one of uh, Talia's best strengths. I'm ready to smite it if I have to. Okay, I'm gonna look for this camp again. Only gonna take a couple small ones here. Can't go for the, the camp. Uh, Alistar's walking down. So I'm gonna take this. This is fine. We don't have that much damage to kill this guy, but I'm gonna just try to see if we can do anything to him. Hopefully he doesn't hit six. Okay, never mind. He hit six. So I have nothing to do. I'm gonna go back towards my Gromp here. This in this situation where there's no lanes to gank and there's nothing to do, you just have to go to your next camp that's available. It's not like the best situation for me. Obviously, I would like to be able to affect the, the game. Um, but I just have no options there. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, the Cyan ended up diving the Malphite because they ended up fighting. But pretty sure if I was up there, the Malphite would have, or the Cyan would have just ran away. I'm going to try to hit six, I guess. And to my red buff next. With my talisman, I'll be able to do the red buff, but then I'll need to back. Talia is very mana intensive, which is another reason why going for crabs is so nice. Good, so that's Rise Flash. I'm actually not going to use my W here because I'd rather use my Q. And I'm not going to be able to cast both, most likely. gonna do this camp anyway even though I'm really low we'll be able to do it I'll get mana for my Q soon and now I'm six so I can potentially like go for a cutoff gank bot I think Varus is no flash all right I'm gonna go red smite here and amp tome pretty standard buy they need to chill they need to chill just wait for me I'm coming, but they need to wait for me. I'm going to continue riding the wall here so I can potentially get here as quick as I can. Oh, no. We we even saw him there. That, that's just people just not waiting for the play. Just getting too greedy. All right, so there I got the pick over the wall, um, knowing where he was going to be for the crab. I'm not going to go for this because Alistar can just CC me, but I will take the crab myself. And I got his red. If Aurelia lands a stun, I can potentially kill mid. I'm looking mid. He has no flash, so it is potentially killable. Right, I'm going to take his wraiths because he's dead. I have eyeball collection, so I'm going to take the hit on this. And I have a CS lead, which is really nice for me now. Yeah, this game I had to play safer than I normally would like to play, but when you're in a situation you get counterpicked, you have to play to like the circumstances of the game. You can't be one of those players that just tries to overforce anything because you want to just be like the hero of the game every time. This game, I can still be the hero, but I just need to be the hero later on. You feel me? All right, Camille is topside for sure. Actually, I'm going to have to take that down. That was actually a pretty weird ult. Like, I didn't want my lane to come here. I wanted them to go around, but I don't know. I guess I could have went from like this angle or something. I know he's topside. But it's okay. He might look for a play mid. I'm coming mid. We can do this. He has no, no E right now. Yep, he's dead. That was kind of janky because like he unless there's there's a reason for him to not have to juke my uh W, he's probably gonna be able to avoid it every time. But um in that situation, we just can put in enough damage to kill him. 
decides to red smite, auto attack, keep my Q on him, etc. So I'm in a good spot now. Should have aimed that better. Go over to Wolves. I was actually trying to find out where Scion was ulting. Had my eyes off it for a second. I think I can potentially kill here. I don't think he'll expect this run back. Tali's really good at chain ganks. So you want to start off with your Q, and then when he gets CC'd, that's when you drop your W. Like you kind of, you don't want to just start off every single fight with your W. In this situation where he's near the wall, I want to zone him with my W, but in this situation when he's out in the middle of the lane, you just walk up and cast your spells and force him to juke into you. Like you want him to play into your strengths. And if he just sits there juking, Aurelia's Sun is easier to land than my W anyway. Aurelia can land the Sun, and then I just land the W on top. And he actually ended up dying to the W there, so you didn't really see him get shoved, but it was still pretty strong in general. Okay, we see him backing out. That's good. That's the first crab he gets, which, I mean, obviously I didn't want to contest the crab there because I have so much gold on me. I'm, up to, I'm on 2k gold. I can potentially gank bottom. I want to play around mid though. Like I said, mid is my only lane that has like direct CC that's super easy to gank. So I'm going to do that when I can. Take this. Okay, that was kind of weird. Malphite got outplayed by the Camille R. I think we could have done something good there though. Damn, this guy, this guy is pretty much unkillable for me with the Bissell Mask. I'm just going to have to wait for other people to kill him in team fights. Gonna kill the pink ward here. Just wanted to make sure you could walk the lane. And I'll be going to my golems here. This needs to chill for a second. Do this first on the way. Okay, so for this game specifically, I'm gonna get a Zanya's at some point, but probably not yet. I'm going to, for right now, my items are going to be, I'm gonna go, um, Morello next. Morello is super good on Talia. Just really overpowered item just in general. But yeah. Overpowered AP items. Good on champion like Talia, obviously. As a mage. I'm gonna buy the Amptom here. I mean, I'm not playing into Camille's strength. I'm not playing into her dueling. I'm literally just going for ganks where my lanes are strong or whether we can, like, if we can just fight. Or I'm just, ta like, taking camps that I know are not gonna be contested. This scuttle is gonna be really hard for me to get. Instead, I think I'm gonna just play around bot. I'm coming mid. I'll be here. We should just push mid. I think. I'll let him get his uh, Qs off. We just gotta be careful of Scion. Take turret together. Got first turret, but there's no way I can actually duel the guy once he gets on me, so we're just gonna have to live with that situation. Ooh, we got a kill, and I got an assist there. Not bad. Hmm. This is uh getting kind of hairy. Sona didn't ult. I don't know if he just didn't have it, but he didn't cast it, which is rough. This guy maybe still dies. We ended up getting first turret, so it's not the end of the world, but yeah, it's pretty tough. Flashing there was just not a good decision. Like, if I flash, I just die anyway. All right, so here I'm going to sell my pink ward and actually buy a blasting wand. Still going to be building towards um, my item, but yeah. The um, Morello, but for right now, this is okay. That's just a, a shitty situation. Like, if they're able to force on you like that, you're just dead. Even if I flash the Camille, he just ults me, and with the position of my team, I'm just dead for sure. Just free kill. Oops, almost missed that. All right, let's go here. Yeah. Should be dead. 
dead. Yeah, for for a little bit, Scion's gonna be really tough for me. Like other people are gonna have to kill them, kill him. Uh, Kaisa's gonna be have to gonna have to put damage into him. Aurelia's gonna have to put damage into him. I'll be able to deal with him later on. Okay. Gonna look mid here. Riding on the walls when you're riding through the jungle, super good. How long for a stun? Oh, that's tough. I gotta get out of uh, the way there. So yeah, we just did the combo stun into um, stun into my W. Can do the same thing here again. But yeah, I wanted to just position in the back. Like, I could have ulted at the rise, but I think that's like relatively risky on Talia in that situation because we don't know uh, for sure where the communal is going to be. So this is okay. We should just back and take Dragon, honestly. We don't need to do anything crazy. Still going to continue playing around my mid laner, though. I'm not going to smite it because there's no contest. I'm going to back and get my Oblivion Orb and then go to red, which builds into Morello, obviously. So let's do that. Yeah, I think this is a, a good situation, um, a, a good game to show because essentially I'm like countered by their whole team and I don't have like that many good options because I first picked, right? Like that's just the nature of first picking. You pick a champion first, you're not going to, people are going to pick things that are good into you. But I think that like I avoided their strengths pretty well and I'll still end up being a factor in this game. I've already been a factor to this point. Uh, these types of fights are normally not good because... He just needs to back out. I'm gonna look for him here. Mm. It's rough. He actually seemed like he had vision there with how he played it. If I hit my W, I would have been able to kill him there, but hitting a W, like, normally you wanna either throw it, like, out of vision or you wanna just throw it um, in a situation where he has to, like, juke into it or it falling up CC. That was just a rough situation in general because like when when you're already losing a fight on one side of the map and then you immediately try to fight somewhere else it normally goes bad auto once and then i'll move to wolves i want to play around bot side here kaisa is like very killable though for camille solid should back and get Morello soon, honestly. Yeah, if I didn't have um extra work ground, like right here. Oh, that, okay. Gonna back out. Alistar's here. If I didn't have extra work ground right here, I would have been able to kill the um Rise, most likely. I'm gonna group with, with the Aurelia, and then we're gonna try to get Vision top side. That's what we need to do. Or at least get this crab. Like, we need to do something. I'm not going to use my E or my W right now, just in case I do run into Camille. Okay. Got one shot by him out of the bush. That was a really unfortunate place for him to be. We can kill this guy, though. Yeah, that's, like, the reason why Camille is a good counter into um, Talia. If you saw, like, right there, there's actually absolutely zero counterplay. Like, I, I did hit my... um. I did hit my W and it didn't matter at all, which is normally like the big counterplay when you play this. Okay, we're just taking a fight that's really bad. Yeah, we're taking like a fight that is just not in our favor. So I'm going to need Zanyas obviously so that I'm able to at least survive that. But yeah, that is the situation. Gonna potentially look for an ult on Varus. I can kill him. He is ult and flash though, but yeah, I should, still should be able to kill him. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> he tried to flash into me to like avoid some of my damage, but I just like one shot him. I'm pretty strong. I just need to like be fighting with my team. I wanted Aurelia to, to group with me and like get vision together, but I should have waited for him. It was my bad there. So I got a uh, Varus's flash. That situation, I didn't know exactly where he was going to be, so I just walled to get into range, and then I just took down the wall once I was in range. Yeah, my QEW just destroyed him. The Camille is um, pretty strong now at this point, though. We've, we've got to have, like, Malphite and Aurelia in front, or he will just be able to murder me every fight. I mean, I essentially just have to play, like, a... Like, I am a mage because that's just the situation. For example, if you're an AD carry, right? Like, you're going to have certain strengths and the enemies are going to have certain strengths. Um, an AD carry is, like, better in team fights. He's better, like, in front-to-back type situations. But he's... Yeah, we need to stop, like, splitting. We need to just group up. But, um... Uh, AD carries are going to be better in, like, team fight situations. But they're going to be worse in duels. It's the same thing for uh, Talia versus Camille. He had a kill here. Maybe I can bait them to dive this guy. We can't just walk up. We'll die. We have to give the turret here. I'm just trying to like keep them interested so that they end up walking into us. one here yeah so we're collapsing from top so I'm just trying to keep them interested there we can potentially do Baron here we can go over here we should just get vision immediately we can even start it like two of them died they have I don't know about starting it with Malphite backing but they don't know we're on it is a thing. Like this this would work 100% if Malphite just didn't recall. Oh man, he didn't ult. I even hit the thing. Yeah, I don't know why this guy felt the need to recall, but I did not want to start it before like when he did when he chose to recall though. Okay, that's fine, I guess. They need to just run. Just run, just run, just run. Sona didn't have ult there actually, so. I guess they win this. No, they're all gonna die. But at least we they we didn't give them Baron. Really fucking broken. Yeah, we, I did not want to just start that immediately. I ended up like doing it once the Kaisa did, but yeah, it just didn't seem like the right play to me at the time. I probably should have backed off. It's just really tough, like, situation to play in this game. Like, I haven't got that many team fights where, I, like, they are front to back and, like, other people are initiating. Pick off kill there. I think I'm fine here, to be honest. I'm just gonna ult this guy. I'm just gonna smite this guy and try to kill him. Nice. Got the combo. Now we're going for Infernal. We gotta be careful of Aurelia ceiling or uh, Camille ceiling. I wanna pull it out. Smite. Yeah, so Camille is a big issue. I mean, at this point, most people can just guess where the Talia is going. I have no smite. We just need to know this before we do anything here. Keep him in, uh, in the fight. Varus is like ending the game, dude. 
This is just kind of tricky. I'm going for him. I can 1v1 him again, I think. Okay, he went down. Did not see where he exited here. All right, so I definitely need Void next because um, their Scion is like super tanky. It's insanely tanky right here. Oh, this guy's getting a pick. He's killed the Varus. We have to go back to Baron. I just got to play around my team. This time I have, um, I have Zanyas. Makes the fight a lot easier for me because Camille jumps on me. I don't insta die. We just need to clear their wards though. Weird situation here. Could back and buy a blasting one, but I don't really want to. I need to get um Red Sweeper and N Red Sweeper on my next purchase because we're actually like struggling with controlling vision on Baron. Gotta be careful here. It's two people bought. They look they might ult for a play. Ideally we'd have Malphite bought, but it doesn't look like he's doing that right now. I can kill this guy if he stays in any capacity. He's gonna be safe here. Oh, why would he ult there? That's a really big waste of his ult. I mean, you could argue that my Zanyas is a waste, but like, I'm just trying to be safe about it. Like, he just wasted an ult that we could definitely use for this situation. Ferris Flash there as well. All right, I got a big shove there. Let's go, Baron. Got a mouth at all. We just win the game there, but it's okay. I guess he just didn't know that I was going to kill him, but yeah, my next Q is 100% going to kill that guy. So I'm going to start my Qs all the way out here, and then I'm going to progress my worked ground in further. So I'm going to Q from here, then I'm going to Q from here. I'm gonna queue from the back of it, and then I'm gonna queue from the side of it here. I have no smite for it, but it's okay. I just lagged super hard. I wanna see if it's server lag or if it's just my own lag because people were saying it was server lag um, recently. Anyways, I don't have enough for void. We're just gonna need to group up for this Inferno before I get it. So in this situation, I'm definitely just going to buy a uh, elixir of sorcery. I could fix top, but then I... Okay, I'll, I'll fix top. I have my ult. I'll fix top and I'll try to ult, ulti there later. I'm just going to try to do this as fast as possible. I have R, so I can be here. And I get my void off that. It's not bad. So, yep, following up CC. Trying to do as much damage as possible. In the fights. 
Kaisa had a kind of weird R. She like tried to R through everyone and she ended up killing herself in that fight or we would have stomped it even harder. Also Malphite had no ult, like I said. Okay, just stop to cast Q. Okay. Actually gonna wall off here. And re-angle my fight. That's really good. We can just go down mid and end. So a lot of times you don't want to start off the fight with your ult. You can use it to either be a chase tool or you can use it to um, to like close them off or just like reposition the fight. Yeah, we're at, we're able to put in decent damage this game. Zion is not happy. And we end with style, boys. Well, that was a solid game. Um, I'm definitely going to upload this one. If you liked it, hey, make sure if you get to this point in the video, dude, the least you could do, just please like the video, dude. It helps so much. Like, I don't want to get into the whole mathematics of it, but the YouTube algorithm, it really helps send out our videos and it lets us continue doing good content like this. Um, because this is actually my favorite type of content that I do. Um, being able to like educationally walk you through how I'm playing. This game was mainly just how to deal with like being countered. We had to first pick a champion um, that was decent. Like I, I like definitely tell you is, is it okay pick. But if you pick her first and you do, do get countered by the team, you're going to have to play this type of play style where you don't take too many risks and you um, play solid for the late game and you play around what uh, your strengths are as a team comp. But yeah, definitely enjoyed that one if you liked it make sure to drop a like on the video like i said and i will uh, see you guys on the next video before we before we end let me just check out the damage real quick yeah 23k damage so we did actually some some decent damage for being behind like that's more than camille was doing for example and just for for being countered i think that this is just a solid play style this is what i like to do uh, to take less risk and try to win games that a lot of in a lot of ways could be unwinnable. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Peace out.